Welcome to the Alerts Examples video. Here we will set up a few real-world examples of alerts by monitoring price action and indicator values. We will configure the first alert on a chart to detect the moment that the market price crosses above a specified price level. First, we'll right-click in the chart, then click Alerts to open the Alerts window. Once there, we'll click Add to create a new alert, then add the condition for the alert. In the left column of the Conditions window, we will select the data series configured on the chart. In the left column of the Conditions window, we will select the data series configured on the chart in the Data Series folder. This allows us to reference open, high, low, close price values and volume for the configured instrument, in addition to other price types such as median. We'll leave bars ago set to zero to ensure the most current bar is monitored, and leave the offset set to zero so the precise close price of the data series is tested. Between the left and right columns, we will set the condition to cross above to test whether the market price turns higher than the value we specify. In the right column, we will select numeric value, which will allow us to enter the specific price level we are interested in. After clicking OK, we can now view the parameters of our new condition in the conditions grid. Here we can see the instrument to which the alert applies, the cross above condition that we set, and the price value that we entered in the right hand column. Next we will set up a few alert actions. In the actions window, we'll first add the show a pop-up dialog action, then click OK. This pop-up dialog will display the message contained in the text field in the properties section of the alerts window. And just like the condition, we can see the configured action displayed in the actions grid. We'll click add once more to configure a second action in the alert. This time, we will select play a sound, then choose a sound from the list provided. In addition to the preloaded sounds available here, any WAV files located in the NinjaTrader sounds folder will be available in this list as well. Now that we have set up the conditions and actions, we will take a look at the general properties available to further customize the alert. We will first ensure the alert is enabled and then change the name to Alert Example 1. In the message field, we will customize our message to add a bit of excitement and then we'll change the priority to high. Lastly, we will change the background and foreground colors and we will see the effect of this change in the alerts log in a few moments. First, we'll open an alerts log window to which all alerts will be sent. Next, we'll set the trend slider as high as possible on the simulated data feed and watch as the chart triggers the alert. When the price hit our defined level, we can see the pop-up dialog, hear the alert sound, and see the alert posted in the alerts log using our chosen priority and colors. Before we move on, Let's say we wanted to replace our hard-coded price value with a user-drawn horizontal line on the chart, triggering the alert any time the market price crosses below that movable line. Back in the Alerts window from the chart, we can select our existing condition, then click Edit to make the change. Now that our chart contains a horizontal line, we can simply select that line via the Drawing Objects folder in place of the static value we had previously entered. We'll set up the next example in a market analyzer. We're going to be testing indicator values in this alert, so we'll start by adding an indicator column to the market analyzer, and we will populate the column with a simple moving average. Just like the chart alert, we'll start by right-clicking in the market analyzer window, then clicking Alerts. This time, we'll set up two different conditions and set the alert to trigger if any defined condition is detected. If we wished, we could also set the alert to trigger only if all conditions are detected. On the left, we will select Last Price after expanding the Columns folder. For the condition, we will select Less in order to be alerted whenever the market price is less than the configured SMA value. On the right, we will expand the Columns folder and select the SMA column. After clicking OK, we can see our condition parameters in the Conditions grid. For the next condition, we will test to see if we have achieved a specific amount of unrealized profit for the instruments in the market analyzer. To do this, we will first need to back out of the alerts window, then add an unrealized P&L column.
Back in the Alerts window, we'll add a new alert to test whether the value of the unrealized P&L column is greater than 100, meaning that we've reached $100 in profit on an open position. Remember that we configured the alert to check for any of the defined conditions, so the alert will trigger if either condition becomes true. For this alert's custom actions, we will configure the alert to submit an order if either condition becomes true. We will leave most other parameters as they are and change the priority to low. Back in the alerts log, we can see our new alert triggered just as before using the simulated data feed to trigger the first of our two conditions. Before we do, we will apply a priority filter to the alerts log via the right-click menu to make sure we are only viewing alerts with low priority. We could also set filters for the alert source or instrument if we wished. Thank you for watching the alerts examples video.